Three down, six to go. <laughs> And hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Tanner and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of collectibles featuring the Global Racers Cup, Raul Sahul. This is one of those moments where Champion Racer Collection has gotten a die cast before Piston Cup Productions. Right now, by the time I'm recording this video, which is September 29th, only six people have this GRC Raul Sahul and three people that I kind of do admire have them as well. Those being Mr. Docket, Cars Diecast Reveals, and Astro Smokey. So I am extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing the Global Racers Cup Raul, especially because Piston Cup Productions doesn't have them yet. The latest GRC Diecast he reviewed was the Global Racers Cup Carla. But I'm just too excited. I'm just too excited to get this car opened up already. But anyways, without any more talk, let's get to taking a look at Raul's packaging. Barris's magnificent, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful artwork. It's basically just Raul Sahul's artwork, but modified to be the Global Racers Cup artwork, and I really do love it. There's the, the GRC badging with the number six there, Disney Pixar Cars, Global Racers Cup in the top. There is the vehicle inside. On the bottom says Raul Sahul. There is the metal logo, Mattel, and three plus. The background looks like Willie's View because you can, well, the background looks like this race will be taking place in Radiator Springs because you can see Willie's Butte's rock right there. On the back says Global Racers Cup, Raul Sahul's prototype picture and his name in four languages. And surprisingly, in some place in the world, Raul is called Raul Fara Fura. Don't know what the flip that is, but... Anyways, without any more talk, let's get to unboxing the Global Racers Cup, Raul Sahul. And I think I will be adding ASMR for the third time, so let's get into it! I said this once and I'll say it again. This is my favorite Global Racers Cup diecast up to date. Raul looks magnificent. I am so in love with this Raul that I completely forgot to do the classic words I always say after unboxing a car, but might as well do them now. So here is the Global Racers Cup Raul Sahul right out of the packaging. So this paint drop of all never appeared in any short, any film, any Cars tune, whatever it is. No, this is a, a series that Mattel decided to create to make them some money and also keep the Disney Pixar Cars franchise up and alive. But I am just in love with this Raul. It definitely puts the classic Raul up to shame, my brother. Look at this. This roll is glorious. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Any type of positive words you guys can think of, please type them in the comments because this roll is just perfecto. Perfecto. Anyways, let's take a look at the details now. In the front, there's this big open wide smile. There's his headlights right there and a few stripes right there. On the right side, there's his white side view mirrors. There is these stripes that are really beautiful. Really reminds me of classic Raul, how he had those stripes there, but they're kind of like paint splatters. It says GRC, Global Racers Cup. There are the sponsors down there in which, if we can get Raul to focus, thank you. It says Ride, Rev Ru, Revioli, and Patrola. There's the GRC badging with the number six on there. I really love these stripes. It really reminds me of the 2024 uh, football season. I don't, the 2024 World Cup football season. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not talking about football. I mean, I'm not talking about American football. I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about soccer. Let's just say that. It really reminds me of this for some reason. And I think I know why. 
I think the World Cup, I think, took, pay, took place in, I think, France, wasn't it? I think. But anyways, let's continue with the details. I really, really love the stripes on Raul. Here's the back. There's the GRC logo with the tail lights. There's this like red thing down there with the exhaust pipes. There's more black and blue stripes right there. Same thing on the other side, but flipped. There's the hood, which has these really nice details. There's the hexagonal uh, patterns right here throughout the hood with the GRC logo, which the C continues off throughout the roof and ends right on the window. I really, really love the details here. It kind of looks like some lettering. Like this one looks like a Z if this red stripe wasn't in the way. It looks like a Z. This one looks like an L. And if this one was connected down there, it looked like a C. So like ZLC. I don't know what the heck is a ZLC, but I just invented it. And there is the GRC logo on the spoiler. Or should I say, on the wing. Yes, there's no denying this Raul is definitely superior to the classic one. There's no denying that. But let's not get to the comparisons just yet. Well, wait a minute. I completely forgot. I have to take a look at the eyes and the rims. But here's the rims on Raul. If I can focus. Thank you. He has white rims and he has gray lug nuts. If you guys can see those gray dots, those are actually the lug nuts. And now let's get to the expression. The expression is actually different from the regular Raul. The expression on the Global Racers Cup Raul, it reminds me of the Neon Racers Raul's expression. Mainly because of that determined attitude. But I do have to say one thing about the classic Raul. We're gonna get, get back to the Global Racers Cup Raul in a bit, but I have to tell you something about this one. I am not really sure if that's actually right or not, but I'm just saying. But now, let's get to the comparisons. Let's first start with Global Racers Cup Raul versus regular Raul. The expressions are different, as you guys can see. Side view mirror colors are also different, and don't mind this cut here, don't worry, I'm not bleeding. The side view mirror, the side view mirror's color is different, of course. Rim color, also different. We have silver for the World Grand Prix version, white for the Global Racers Cup version. I really do like how the GRC um, logo here on the new one, it kind of looks like the one from the previous version, if the camera could focus. Thank you. I am just in love with this Raul. I already mentioned this about two to three times. I'm just in love with this. Look at the back. We went from blue and red for the regular Raul to just plain red, and I honestly love it. I'll definitely be taking pictures of this Raul along with the other GRC vehicles like Lightning McQueen and Carla Veloso back there. But we're not done with the comparisons just yet because I still have to get two more Raul. Let's first start with my custom uh, French flag Raul Sahul, which really reminds me of the Global Racers Cup Raul in a way. Not because of the rims, mainly because of the paint job. Even though this Raul does not have a wing, this used to be, I think, yeah, this is the first regular Raul I ever had. I got this Raul back in 2015. I think who gave this to me was my dad. Yeah, my dad gave this to me back in 2015. This is my old Raul. I used this in 2017 to be Cal Weathers. And then I just came back to be Raul. But I probably will do something to this Raul because, I mean, he looks really damaged. And I don't want him to be like that forever. So, yeah. I guess the only similarities that both of these Rauls have is just the rims, that they're both white. Now, let's get to the Silver Racers Raul Sohul, which is also a custom. This Raul I actually got in 2016. One year after, I got this Raul. He also does not have a wing, just like the French flag Raul, unfortunately. And this one actually does have silver rims. Now, I am done with the comparisons of the regular 
Raul. I'm done with the comparisons with Raul because I don't feel like getting my old 2011 Chinese variants because it's literally exactly the same as the Thailand one, except the fact that the Thailand one is a unibody. So that means we have to join Raul with the rest of the family. Here we have Lightning McQueen and Carla Veloso. I am super, super happy that now I have three Global Racers Cup die casts. Carlo Veloso, Lightning McQueen, and Raul Sahul. I am still on the look for Jackson Storm, Francesco Bernoulli, and Carlo, no, not Carlo Veloso. I meant to say Cruz Ramirez. But the thing is, Cruz hasn't even been released yet. Miguel Camino has only been released in a two pack with Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm's in the same case as Raul too. Shu Todoroki and Francesco Bernoulli, they're both in the same place as, same case as Carlo Veloso. So if I'm gonna be honest, I think I have a higher chance of finding Francesco and Jackson Storm than of finding Max Chanel and Shu Todoroki. But anyways, that was basically it for the review of the Global Racers Cup, Raul Sahul. If you guys liked this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell, so that way you won't miss any new notifications when Champion Racer Collection uploads. This is Champion Racer Collection signing out, see you guys in the next video. Boom, 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 boom.